What's going on guys? Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So this is a completely different video. I just wanted to do this video as a wrap up to the last smallmouth uh, video that I just posted. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a serious video in the fact that when I was filming the smallmouth video, we're kind of Tom and I are laughing and joking the boat and giggling that these guys are eating these bass because you know what it's something very stressful for us to hear and you know sometimes in stressful situations you laugh and kind of joke about it to reduce anxiety but as you can see in this clip that I'm going to show right now uh, you can see that there's real stress happening from what we could hear from these fishermen um, we sat in the boat we tried to do a couple more jokes and the mood completely dropped while we were out in that boat uh, it eventually led to a point where we basically even stopped fishing. I, I sat down, um, I just sat there with my rod and tried to process what exactly we just heard and what was happening out on Lake Simcoe and it was very bothersome. So I didn't put that in the first video and the, I don't know, maybe I should have, but uh, I didn't. I kept all the kind of entertaining things, kept it light, kept it fun and kind of make light of something very serious. And I wanted to do this follow-up video showing that, you know, those things happening out there do really bother us as fishermen. And we really hope that if you're out there fishing that, uh, and you see this kind of stuff happening, that you guys try to educate some of the other fishermen out there. Now, one of the positive things about this experience is we actually waited at the boat ramp for over an hour for those gentlemen to come in with the, the Lund. We talked to them at the boat ramp and they were really, really receptive to what we had to say. We explained the fishery. We explained about these uh, smallmouth bass to get to that size. They're probably 15, 20 years old, if not older and that how special this lake is and how it's one of the top lakes for these giant smallmouth. And after we talked to them, they were really receptive and said that, you know what, they're gonna stop keeping any larger bass that they catch and only keep smaller bass. Yeah, yeah, Anyway, yeah. guys. Right on, buddy. Nice right to on. talk to you guys. I'll you too. Go check your yeah, check YouTube, Careful. Fox yeah. Fishing 4K. Okay, talk to you later, buddy. Fun, guys. See Have you, fun. man. And be safe. I will do, bye-bye. So, what I wanna get out if I get one thing out in this video is, you know, it's their legal right to keep the fish, but the more times we can educate people or say something to them about the fisheries and releasing these giant fish back, uh, the more beneficial it's gonna to be to our fishery because like Tom states. Yeah, our fishery can't last that long like this. Like how long can our fishery last when like, and that's just one boat out here and that's within 10 minutes. <laughs> in the video it's not sustainable the way we're going so just wanted to wrap this up with the last video you know it's not all jokes and giggles when we're out there when we see this kind of stuff happening we take fishing extremely serious and we hate seeing this kind of stuff happen and we're going to continue to try to educate people in releasing these uh, larger fish so that we can catch them even bigger or someone else can have uh, a wicked picture or experience catching one of them. So uh, smallmouth bass season's over now. It ended November 30th. Uh, we're just gonna wait for the hard water season. So come this hard water season, if you get a giant lake trout or a giant white fish or uh, a burbot or whatever you may get, a big walleye, you know, take a picture, take a video like a GoPro like this. And I really highly encourage you guys to release that fish. If you don't, again, it's your legal right. But if this video even helps or convinces one, two, three people to let go of that giant, well, then it served its purpose. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you find our videos entertaining, please give it a like, a subscribe, and a share. You know, maybe send this video to someone that you think needs to see this. All right? Tight lightings, guys, and we'll see you on the hard water season. Let's go. Woo!